Hello Taurus, welcome into my channel. Thank you for being here. Um, I am Sage Sunset and I'm here to intuitively interpret messages for you using the tarot cards and playing cards. So I feel like many of you Taurus are looking for financial stability, starting a business, investing, becoming financially intelligent, wanting your stability internally, mental stability, emotional, financial, material stability, abundance. Some of you are probably going through in love, broken heart, sorrow, misery, pain. This could be a romantic relationship or a relationship that is family based. <clears throat> I feel like this situation has caused you to harden your heart, your emotions, the way you express yourself. Maybe you get triggered. Your feelings are triggered from time to time when you remember the certain painful feelings. But I feel like it is also making you more grounded, aligning you with your, your self, your faith, your trust, your stability, in learning how to really depend on yourself, knowing that you are a wholesome human being. Yes, we look to others for affection, for love, for comfort, for guidance. But when we get, when these things get shattered and we realize that they're not going to be always provided for us by another person. It causes us to really strengthen our own selves, being able to depend on ourselves, take accountability for where we are. Well, wanting to find balance and healing. Just a, he a new view, a fresh view over the situation. Wanting transformation. Some of you are coming into healing. Some of you may not be able to really heal, to release, to forgive. To understand why things are the way they are. So I feel like you are working on your money. You're very good at, you may be someone that has talents, certain skills, maybe an artist. So one of your skills are, is bringing in money for you. Um, maybe it is, a, it is a sort of a, a switch of focus from being hurt to really aligning with your financial stability. And also aligning with your joy, your sense of self-worth, your pride. So I feel something is really hurting you and you're not really letting it go. Maybe you're distracting yourself with work. Um, maybe you haven't really found true balance yet. In this situation but I feel like it's here for you healing is here for you it is present maybe you're just not ready to release it could be something from your childhood Taurus it's not your fault you know because hurt people hurt people I feel like you are evolving you're not giving up you're very wise and strong I feel like it just, it hurts you viscerally. It takes you in your stomach. And then like a thought, a memory, a feeling just 
runs into you and you're bothered by something from your past I feel like the angels are calling for you to find healing, to transform, to really think deeper about the situation. This could be a love, like a soul of souls connection between two people. This could be between an earth sign or a water sign. Oh, maybe this could be between you and a water sign. Something from your past, from your childhood. Affection. Maybe affection that you used to receive or give. Affection that you long for, that you never received. The Six of Cups also feels like... Healing, rejuvenation, loving yourself inside and out. Knowing that you love you, you care for you, and so you're attracting that kind of energy around you. Sometimes it is difficult to remain strong in that power, to be able to love yourself, to glow love, to appreciate and accept your life, who you are, your kindness, your generosity your intelligence, your ability to be different from the rest and still be grounded. I feel like there's still a part of you that needs to accept this healing or to step into healing, to really work at healing, to not t tolerate being in this energy. It's not normal. Don't accept it as normal. Some of you could be moving to toward working with other people. This could be what you want. Starting a business, some allegiance, alliance. This could be you wanting to get married. This could be you really healing or separating from a situation, a relationship that wasn't serving you. This is you coming to a greater understanding, intelligence, intuition, morals, beliefs, stepping up in your power. I feel your emotions are grounded. I don't feel like you're, you're going to be triggered or hurt in the same ways when you align with this energy. Right, so I do feel that you'll be able to come to a place of forgiveness here, of understanding, walking away, finding healing. This is what you need, solace, time to understand your pain, time to stop listening to the words of others, the experiences of other people and following your tr self, trusting your heart. Stronging up, oh, just deciding to feel the power in your feet, to be able to walk away, to be able to hold yourself, to be able to want greater love and affection, to see that you're not alone in the universe. You're emotionally supported by energies surrounding you, the moon, the sun, the ocean, all a part of who you are. I feel like things will work out in your favor. Healing is due. A transmutation of this energy is coming in through you. You're never alone. Remember, there's nothing new under the, under the sun. A lot of us need healing, well-being. I feel like you're going to be validated soon for how you feel. 
Maybe you felt alone as if you couldn't really show or share your feelings because you felt maybe only you understood what you're really feeling. But I feel like you'll be shown that you're not alone. Hmm. Some of you could be afraid of what you don't know. Secrets, things done behind your back a long time ago. Things done to you, things that you want answers to. I feel like it's going to come to you because you deserve to hear, to know, to feel, to heal, to witness your transcendence. Secrets may be being revealed to you. This may be you walking into your own emotions, your own self. To figure out why it is that you hurt. What is it? What, are, what do you need to know in this situation? About yourself becoming wholesome in you. Like I said, aligning with the powers, the knowledge, the intelligence of our planet of Earth. To help to guide you, to comfort you. Hmm. I feel like at the end you'll realize that you do have a lot to be thankful for. This is a man looking at all that he has achieved. His ships out on the ocean. Contemplating what he's become, his next mode of his next action, what next action to take. Still moving on and along, even though you don't always feel wholesome. You, f you keep going. We have three threes in your reading here three of swords, three of pentacles, and the three of wands. You are being guided to align with your intuition, your emotions, to connect deeply, to find stability, power, to find back your sense of self-worth as a human being, as an individual. And I think beautiful things will start pouring into your life. Sometimes you have to go on a journey on your own, Taurus, to know who you are. Okay. All right, Taurus, this has been your love reading. I feel it is mostly centered around, it doesn't feel, it could be romantic love for some people, yes, forgiving in a relationship. And for others, I feel like this love reading is, is really targeting a childhood love. Maybe a love from a mother or a parent or in just in your household in general. And there's healing and well-being here for you. Thank you so much, Taurus, for listening. And I hope that you find the messages that are able to help you along your journey. If you did, give my video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for future uploads. Remember, Taurus, that you can be, do, have everything and anything in this world that you desire. Because you are all... And all is within you. Thank you so much. Much love.